Hi ladies, how are you all doing? Uh, it's Andrea. Welcome to my video, welcome to my channel if you're watching on YouTube. Because uh, my video is going to go out on YouTube as well. Um, for anyone who doesn't know me, I'll introduce myself. I'm Andrea, I'm a nutritional therapist and I love to help educate women on how their hormones work in their bodies, um, especially in midlife, go through the menopause and perimenopause. So they can find solutions to the symptoms and you can go on to create healthy lives. In my video today, I want to talk to you about what is stealing your energy. And you may be, I think the, the obvious one here is sleep, isn't it? Sleep, if you're not getting enough sleep, then that's going to, you're gonna feel tired and you're gonna feel like not a lot, a lot of energy. Um, another one is stress. That's another obvious one. Stress levels causing your energy drop um, because when you're just busy, 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 running around all the time, you've got too much on, you're not taking enough breaks, taking enough rest, and that that can really affect your energy levels. And then there's there's lots of different types of stresses. I talk about stress quite a lot because it's a really big issue especially with your hormone health because your stress will rob your hormones and you can have diet stress, mindset stress, um, environment stress, the environment that you live in, um, people stress, you know, people can stress you out and they can be draining your energy. I mean, have you ever thought about that before? I never thought about that and how people could be draining my energy. Have you ever gone out with somebody and come back from going out and then just com feel completely drained? Or you could go out and pick up on anyone's energy. If you're like me, I'm sensitive. I can, I can pick up on other people's energy. And if you don't protect yourself from other people's energies, they can really drain you. They can affect your mood and everything. You know, that it might not even be your mood. You could be taking on somebody else's moods. Now, that's an interesting point of view, isn't it? And your thoughts. Your thoughts are a big one here regarding your energy levels. You know, because... You, you've got you know, cells all over your body and you're an energetic being and if you're thinking negative things, if you're feeling depressed, you're not having a good outlook about your life, you're not happy with your life, this can really drain your energy as well and steal your energy. That's a big one. Um, so I talked about your negative thoughts, your stress and not enough sleep, negative thoughts, other people draining your energy. So look out for that one. Who who are you being around who's really draining your energy? And can you pull away from that? And it's all about looking after yourself and having more me time. Because make, when you're not making enough time for yourself, you're running around looking after everybody else. Because you know, we as women, we, we all do that, don't we? You know, We like to nurture people and make sure everyone else is all right before we look at ourselves. So that can be really, really affecting you as well um, when you're not making enough me time. And because that's important to make time for yourself. And going out for a walk or doing something that you enjoy, reading a book. You know, if you just, just, just take like 15 minutes a couple of times a day, you know, just going out at lunchtime, going out for a walk if, you, if, you, if you're at work at the moment. A lot of people are not at work. And you could just take that bit of time out to go outside because you need that sunlight. You need that sunlight into your eyes to help with your circadian rhythm, to help with the vitamin D um, as well, because that can be a big one, can be stealing your energy. You know, if you've got nutrition, nutrition defi deficiencies, deficiencies, um, yeah, so you could be low in D, vitamin D, you could be low on vitamin B12, you could be low on iron, because iron levels can, because iron is involved with oxy oxygenizing your blood and, and creating energy. And so all of this can be affecting your energy, stealing your energy, if you've got nutrient deficiencies. And then you're looking at your gut health, because your gut health is a massive one. Your digestive tract is really important to nourish and nurture as well because that can affect your energy levels, especially if, you're, if you've not got the good bacteria and you may have some infections in your gut. And then there's your diet, you know, what you're eating. 
because you could be eating foods that are stealing your energy um, rather and taking that away rather than giving you energy. So you want to look at the foods that you're eating, more fresh quality vegetables and fruits. That is going to give you the energy. And, you know, if you're going too low carb as well, you know, if, you, if your body's not converting your sugars properly, that can affect your energy and steal your energy as well. So looking at that, and then it, then we go into your thyroid then, your thyroid and your adrenal glands. Actually, your, your thyroid is a big one. Like your adrenal glands and your thyroid, they both work together. Your adrenal glands provide the fuel and your thyroid provide will spark, you know, will, how can I explain it? Your thyroid is like the fire. So your, your adrenal glands are the spark and your, your thyroid is the fire. And so they, they work together. So if, if one of those are, isn't quite, quite working correctly, then that can affect your energy as well. Um, and lower estrogen, as you're going into menopause, you've got lower estrogen levels. And you know, I know all about energy myself because I've I'm struggling a bit with my energy levels because of my adrenals not quite working, not quite strong enough. And I don't know about you, but because I'm a sensitive around the full moon as well, that can affect my energy levels. And then we're looking at hydration. Have you thought about that? Are you drinking enough? I know that I I sometimes don't pay attention to this and I can tell if I'm not drinking enough, then that can affect my energy as well. So what can you do about all this? Why you can just sit down with a bit of paper and think, okay, track your tiredness. What is affecting it? Are you in that progesterone phase of your month? Because that can make you more tired in that second half of the month. And then just go through the list what I've talked about, your diet, negative people, is it your gut health, um, is it your stress levels, are you not getting enough sleep, negative thoughts, all this can play a part in your energy. And then you want to look at getting tested for your thyroid, you know, have a full thyroid check. Um, you can get tested for gut infections. And this is what I help women with all the time. You know, when you work with me, I do a thorough health check with you. I send you a form to fill out and that will give me a lot of information about what's going on in your body as to what's going on with your symptoms, with your energy levels. Um, so if you want more help from me, if you found this helpful, please share it with your friends and let me know that you've watched the video, put hashtag replay in the comments and let me know how you're struggling with your with your energy levels and what you're doing to help with your energy levels. If you've got any tips to share, I'd love to know. Um, if you've got any questions that you want to ask me, also I'd love to know as well in the comments below. Please like and share. Um, I'd love to hear from you. And if you want to work with me, please reach out. Please send me a message. I, I reply to all my messages and I go through your comments regularly. And if you want to tag me in your comments so to make sure that I see your comment as well, would be really helpful. And I've got my 30-day class. If you want to jump on a call to ask me more questions about my 30-day class and how we can both work together and how I can help you further, because I've been through the perimenopause. I've been through a lot of hormone upheaval in my life. I was on the birth control pill for 10 years. I know all about gut health and how because I've had gut problems all my life. And how I can help you with that because I know what's work, what helps me and what I've gone through. And with my adrenal burnout, um, not really burnout, but just my adrenals just getting a bit worn out and not working correctly. Um, so I can help you with that. I know what works for me and, and what can just help you with your nutrition and your diet. So I, I follow all that in my 30 day class. Um, I'll put the link below to my class if you want to find out more details. Um, and yeah, if you want to jump on a call with me to talk about it more, to ask some questions, I'm offering a free 15 minute call. You can ask me any question you want at the moment and I can share with you some of the, um, what I'm doing to get my health back together with what supplements I'm taking, um, how I'm healing my gut health. So yeah, so thanks for watching. I'm sending you lots of love. Take care of yourself. See you later.